Hi, I'm Nick from Australia Native Bee. A long time ago, somebody asked me to do a blog post on conservation. It got me thinking about what ideas uh, could be put into place to help uh, native bee keepers practice conservation. And this video is about an idea I had uh, to help conserve our bees. So basically, once a year, creating a colony that uh, you or I or anybody can give back to our forests and how to do it. Between us, suddenly I'm free to explore. Open hands to giving, receiving, cause you know you're rich and still poor. And I may not ever understand, so we'll love this unknown day and let the One thing to think about when you're looking for a spot to hide a beehive in a tree is putting the beehive on a side of a tree that isn't uh, exposed to the path and when you actually walk in off a main path don't just walk straight to the tree that you're going to go to walk in a zigzag because trail lines or or trails that are in a zigzag very very hard to see so yeah so we're out here in the middle of a forest somewhere and what we're going to do is we're going to string a beehive up a tree so that the bees populate this area and create future generations of stingless bees. I'm being a bit quiet because I don't want anybody who happens to be bushwalking in here to see what I'm doing. this fishing rod and cast the line up over the branch in the tree and uh, pull the line up to pull the beehive up. You wonder where it lived before There's always more, more to discover uh, So the fishing line did not work <laughs> So we're back to uh, and be with the rope. i
climbed on my shoulders and actually put the line up there higher than somebody can reach so that was good a bit of trouble but uh, couldn't have done it without my brother so uh, yeah Music on 